What's up guys, Scott here with The 5-Day Startup. We're gonna do a really quick video on how to make some edits to the Shopify PageFly page builder. Um, so this is used for custom themes and templates. Uh, we've already built a website on it, but we're just gonna show you how to make some modifications. So it is a paid and free app. They have a paid version and free version. If you watch another video, we, watched, we showed you how to get all this for free. Uh, but we're gonna jump in and go into PageFly right here, which is just an app that we downloaded. And so you have options here on the different types of pages. The only page right now we're going to talk about is the home page. You just come here. And again, this is a pre-existing page. If you guys want to learn how to do this from the beginning, uh, watch our other video. I'll put it in the description for you. Or a little card somewhere. Somewhere. Check up there. Okay. So this is what it looks like here. So it's actually really easy to change and move things around. So first off, we're just going to show you how to change the font. So if you just click on it and then go over to style over here, you're going to have a whole bunch of font choices. So here are some preset ones, but if you click here, there's a whole list. It's not a huge list, but it should cover most of your needs. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of different styles and you can pick from there. Unfortunately, when you do change it here, you have to go through and select each section that you want to do it, but they're all exactly the same. So if you just click here, the same thing you go into style and it actually presets you up there and once you select one it'll automatically be in the drop down so there's that if you want to change colors or anything like that so this section you just click on here and then in style you can see the color is right there content color and then there's also the background sorry so there was that top one was the text color and this one's the background right here and it's cool, you can adjust transparency as well in that little slider uh, for other features if you have stuff in the backdrop. And then you can also set with change your paddings and things like that here. Another cool thing to note is the this tool up here. It kind of breaks down how the website's actually shown. So if you're grabbing an image versus the column, so if you're having trouble selecting the right thing, uh, try up here. You might be too far in or too far out. And that'll make more sense once you get to play with it. And then you can see we use the transparency here, and you can adjust the padding there. So here, you would change the image by going into style again, I believe. Nope. So we're going to go into this, and there's your image. You can just cross that out and upload it from a file. Upload there, and there's your image. And another cool thing, you can actually add animations. So right here, if you want to add an animation, you can come in here and we'll add one to this because why not? It's fun. Bouncing, flashing, pulsing. So I like to keep them pretty simple. Um, it's a little simple pulse. It makes it look like the website's alive, but it doesn't do too much um, to affect the user experience. So again, here, just to change the images, you would just click there and we're in general. Um, and your fonts, you can change this. You can add an icon if you wanted, your style right here is your padding, your font, your size, uh, if it's centered, if it's to the side. And then it's important to check everything in all the display sizes. So right here is your all devices, then you get to laptop. So you basically have to build three websites. And then if you can't get something to good look good on mobile, you can actually just remove it. So let's say we wanted to hide this from mobile. So we'll come down to general. And then here's where it is. So if we just had that on mobile, now it's gone. But it'll still show up on everything else. Um, you could also make this a, a button. You can make it things pop up. You can do a, a light box, which is one of my favorite tools to use, especially with videos. Uh, you can use an image to a light box. I like that a lot. Uh, and then we'll go back to full. So then, that's basically the, the very high level of changing things. Again, you got your font sizes in here. And it takes a lot of playing around. You can make it bold, unbold it. Um, so now if you want to drag things around, so if you just click on this, you can use this tool to move it wherever you want to move it. It's really easy to just click and drag. You can copy the whole section. You can delete it. Uh, copy style. So if you just, like for instance, a text or button, you can copy the style, 
uh, and then paste the style on a selected area. That one's paste, yep. And then you can actually save sections. So let's say you made a really cool section over here. Um, this was a sliding, you had some cool animations and you want to use it in multiple places. You can save it to a library and then it would show up in your save sections up here. So now to cover how to add new things. So here's a video, how to add the video. Sorry, we'll, we'll just keep working our way down. So you just put your YouTube in there uh, and you can change different settings in here. So it's really powerful. Again, you can add that animation, you can have it slide in. Um, you can have when someone hovers over it, it does something else. But let's make this. I do like the So that's just when the mouse goes over it. And then let's have it. I like when I slide in. So again, you can change that just by deleting it. Okay. Um, so in here, you're actually gonna have to add some things. So let's try this. So you just click here and you can change the text. Should be able to change the text just by typing. Mm. All right, we'll come back to that in a second. I'm sure it'll just, oh, there we go. Okay, so you change the text there. You can have alternative text, show icon if you wanted to. Not sure if you can change the icon, which isn't that cool. Um, but there you go. And so then in here, you can drop your element. So we're gonna wanna just drop text, so paragraph. So there you go. Uh, but you can also drop images and videos and anything you want in there and you can format it. So. Let's just play around for a second and show you. So we can put that in there. And then you can put, you can slide this over here and then put an image right there. And then let's make this one of your images. So let's say the question was about security. Cool, and then there you go. And if you want to change the size of this, you can go into style. Let's put some padding around it. Let's do negative. So negative is a cool one that sometimes works. Let's try it here. There you go. So it's just moving it around. So to change the size of it, you might actually have to change the image ratio. And I use Canva for that. It makes it really easy to adjust the sizes. Um, but if you want to pad this so it's centered, there you go. And then you can make it bigger and bolder, things like that. So as you can see, it's really easy to use. So we'll leave that. I'm going to save this. Um, when you save, it doesn't publish it. So it won't be live until you hit this publish button right there. And what else is here? That's pretty much it. Again, you can change colors of buttons. You can change the action of buttons. This one you can't change the action of because it's a special form. But in here, you can do button. I just play around in here. There's a whole bunch of options, uh, product options, categories. These are some plugins for special uh, things. Most of these are paid plugins. And then again, just some more options for you there. And hopefully that answers most of your page fly questions. Let's see if I can think of anything else while we're scrolling around. Oh, there's one more thing. So for this website in particular, we did something where it jumps to a section. So this is our normal navigation in Shopify and you just get to that by online store and then navigation. Uh, but you'll notice if we click on something, it actually jumps to a section. And that's because there's a little bit of HTML code right here. And it's really simple code. So you can see that animation we just added, pretty cool. Um, but it's a little bit of HTML code, and if it goes to the wrong area, it'll mess it up. So if you notice right here, there's just that space, and then you can see the code in here. And so that's the HTML code that goes with that link. 
um, and it's really easy to make a link that jumps to that. And you can see that in your navigation, online store, navigation, and then edit. And then you can see that's the, the link we did. All right, guys, I appreciate your time. I'm going to do one or two more things just because I thought of it as I was saying goodbye. But also to add your domain in here, you're going to go ahead and click right here. Um, if you don't have one already, you can buy it. If you have it on GoDaddy or something like that, you can connect to an existing domain. Um, it's a one-click connected to GoDaddy, so you don't have to worry about name servers or anything like that. And then if you're in here and you want to set up your payment gateways, you're just going to go here. This is your general store settings and then payment. And then I recommend just using the standard uh, Shopify. It's, it's going to be the best rates. And then also I would highly recommend setting up PayPal. Um, and if you have an Amazon store, Amazon Pay is not as often used, but it, it does help convert a little bit. And then past that, that would be all you really need. Okay, guys, appreciate it. If you have any questions, drop them down below. And if you want a more extensive video on Shopify, go ahead and click the link in the bio or the card um, coming up. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much for watching my video, guys. Really appreciate it. Please make sure to subscribe. Should be right down there or there. Uh, watch my next video and my playlist right there for me and Moses. Thanks so much. Have a great day.